hi guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm bringing you guys a diy at home facial and i'm quite excited to show you guys this because i just feel like it's just so needed especially during lockdown you can't go out to get facials so why not just do it yourself at home and i really really hope you guys decide to implement this into your routine just to have that sense of relaxation once in a while this video is kindly sponsored by K Facials. They sent me their facial steamer along with some other products that I will be showing you guys throughout this video. So thank you so much to K Facial for sponsoring this video. So yeah, let's get on with it. So after washing my hands, I decide to take off my lashes and any jewellery that I may have on. So at this point, I'm just taking off my earrings. So after slowly removing my earrings, I go in with um, my makeup remover. So I don't use any makeup wipes, I don't even use any cotton pads, I just use this hydrating cleansing oil. I find this to be very effective, especially because I do somewhat have sensitive skin. I just massage this onto my skin and just melt all my makeup off once and for all. I've been searching for the point of it, moments that we share together losing the meaning, tell me what the matter is. Like you fighting me for no fucking reason Baby, take a break from me Space from all the petty shit Should give you healing So after I wash that off my face, I go in with my CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser to double cleanse. I always double cleanse and I definitely recommend everyone to double cleanse because there's only so much that the cleansing oil will remove off your skin. So definitely recommend going in again with another cleanser and I particularly love this CeraVe one. So once I've rinsed my face, I use my K facial steamer and this is the exciting bit guys. So I put some distilled water into the little compartment. Um, there's a guideline as to where the water should reach, but honestly, I just put in any amount. So essentially I'm using the steamer to open up my pores before applying any other products to my skin. Um, there are two settings on the steamer, a cool and a warm setting and on this occasion I used the warm setting. And guys, I honestly have no idea why I did not own a steamer prior to this video because ugh, I was missing out. I was missing out because the way this made my skin feel was like no other. It was absolutely amazing. So I then went in with this charcoal anti-blackhead peel off mask by Garnier and I applied this to specific areas of my skin. I didn't apply this to everywhere on my face. So just my chin, up my upper lip, the bridge of my nose and my forehead. So I usually apply this mask once or twice a week and I find that it's definitely effective at doing its job and does remove all the blackheads and impurities that I have on my skin. So usually this mask does take between 20 to 30 minutes to dry so whilst i just wait for it to dry i tend to read a book or scroll through my phone at the moment i'm reading things fall apart by chinua achebe it's been highly recommended to me hence why i began reading it and i'm finding it to be quite a good read at the moment so once the mask has dried i begin peeling it off as you can see um the thing with this mask is that it is a bit painful but i would say it's definitely more painful depending on the layers you put on so the thicker the layer the more painful it is when peeling it off 
um, with that being said it is very tricky to peel off if you apply a thin layer on as you can see I was struggling a little bit to peel it off I've been searching for the point of it Moments that we shed together losing the meaning Tell me what the matter is so after removing the face mask, washing my face and going in with the face steamer once again, I use this K-Facial Aqua Facial Machine. Essentially this tool works by extracting any impurities that you have in your pores and keeping your face wrinkle free. After this, I then go in with my Moisture Balm Tissue Mask by Garnier. This contains pomegranate and hyaluronic acid. Pomegranate is filled with vitamin C and essentially helps with getting rid of wrinkles or fine lines on the skin. Hyaluronic acid is perfect if you have dry skin. It just rejuvenates the skin and retains the moisture. So I particularly love this mask. So I leave this mask on for about 15 minutes and here's me trying to do the 15 minutes. So after the 15 minutes is up, I just rub um, the excess product into my skin and then remove the mask. I'm then going in with my K-Facial Sculptor and I just use this to massage my face. Guys, this product is so essential. It just massages the skin and just allows all the product to penetrate into your skin. I absolutely love it. So once that is done, I'm using my La Roche-Posay toner. I just spray this all over my face and use my hand to massage the product into my skin. Wouldn't make you feel better, babe. I told you I've been feeling things you don't believe. I'm then going in with my hyaluronic acid by the ordinary. In my head to the ceiling, all the possibilities. Losing my ability to know what you're feeling. I'm then going in with my CeraVe eye cream. I just apply this underneath my eyes and around my eyes, so my eyelids as well. And I just massage this in gently. For my moisturizer, I use the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. This is another holy grail of mine. I absolutely love this moisturizer. I absolutely love CeraVe products end of. So I apply this all over my face and my neck as well. It's just amazing. So that is basically it. So when I'm done with everything, I just use my Carmex to moisturize my lips and I am done. Guys, that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye.